people have questions or doubts when it comes to Jesus, at least I did. I had a really tough time with trust. I mean, growing up, I didn't have a lot. I had a single parent who did more than enough for me, my brother, and my sister. Trusting was a, a really big issue for me because with that one single parent, you only have that one person to rely on. God has truly blessed me by putting people in my path and helping me become who I am now. A believer, a believer in Christ. One of the persons I want to thank so much is Ms. Gum, who kind of took me under her wing and kind of led me to the right path. My experiences with God is uh, all right, blessings, miracles. I kind of find a purpose now in life. As I grow older, I look forward to the things that he has in store for me. He's truly blessed me with the heart of worship, you know, playing guitar and just feeling his presence. Because truly worship is what we're created to do. Now, as I grow older, I kind of want to pursue in that and kind of give him the talent. I just want to show him appreciation in leading his people into the presence of the Holy Spirit to encounter a beautiful love that this world cannot offer. But there's always that question behind people's minds. Am I really worth it? I see now in the scriptures that it is. In Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And that to me kind of spoke a lot because now I can really trust in him and kind of but really, you know, not worry so much in what I have to accomplish or what I have to do. Now I can rely on God for everything that I need and know that He will supply. In Psalms 139, 13 and 14 it says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. A lot of people when they come to Jesus have that question in their mind. Am I good enough or is Jesus really going to accept me for all that I've done? And clearly the answer is yes. Jesus doesn't have his favorites or choose which ones. He accepts everybody for who they are and gave his only son just for you. Your sins are erased and Jesus sees you for who you are. You're perfect. And have faith because when it seems like everything is going bad, that's when Jesus is most near.